It's almost kind of like drowning, but not in water. I actually didn't come up with that. That's actually a cam thing. That was the best way that he could describe it. I can't breathe, I'm drowning. I can't breathe. To have to hear that out of your child's mouth is, it's, it's pretty wrenching. And I don't wish that upon anybody. My mother has it. My grandfather has it. My dad had it on set adult. So we find it's very hereditary for our family. It kind of peaked its head when he was about three months old. We knew pretty early on that he's going to have asthma. Camden was my easy pregnancy. When he was born, everything actually was pretty much picture perfect. And then he got his first cold. And that was kind of our first clue. He started wheezing severely. So it was this heavy, this really heavy vibration wheeze sound. He was put on his first round of steroids to help clear his lungs up. And then it was just kind of a watch and wait. Even though the cold symptoms cleared up, the wheezing continued for a couple of weeks. That with family history, was kind of a clear indication that, hey, there's there's kind of something more going on here. His official diagnosis was at about a year old. His actual diagnosis is asthma, brittle asthma. It's a little more severe than what you would see your typical cases of asthma. He goes down a lot faster, a lot harder. The recovery time for that takes quite a bit more recovery. He's steroid dependent. His body was really weak due to steroids and steroid use that he had several complications. And so then he had to go through multiple surgeries. It was the scariest time in my life. He's gone through more in his life than most adults will ever go through. For a long time, he solely relied on us for self-care. Thankfully, we were set up well with emergency meds at home. After he turned two, I think we were in the hospital almost every two weeks. He's seen several surgeons, pulmonary, endocrinology, ear, nose, and throat, GI, cardiology. He's probably seen pretty much someone in every department. I've known Camden and his family for many years since he was a little toddler and they have been through so much. They have been through surgeries, they've been through hospitalizations in the pediatric ICU. He still has asthma. He's still dependent on a lot of medications. He will always require fairly frequent visits to our clinic. Renounced doctors, the girls in the PICU, his pulmonologists have quite literally saved his life on numerous occasions. Renowned Children's Hospital is really the only children's hospital in our region that provides this kind of special care that these kinds of patients need. It is so heartwarming and so wonderful that we actually now have a children's hospital with so many pediatric subspecialists as well as general pediatricians to take care of the really, really complicated patients like Camden. He's eight now, and the last two years have been a lot better. He's becoming more independent month by month. I think that goes hand in hand to us just getting more familiar, seeing the signs better, being on top of it, and having doctors work with us to just stay that much further ahead. On top of being asthmatic, he is also autistic, and so he sees things a little bit differently than we do. I always say I wish I could see one day through his eyes, because I think his view on life is pretty spectacular. Everything to him seems bigger and brighter. He loves school. <laughs> He's made lots of friends. He likes to make them laugh. They've all been really kind to him and kind of looked out for him, which has been really sweet. We weren't sure last year if we were gonna let him go back, but he would ask all the time, Mom, I go to school. Mom, I go to school. And he just really wanted to go to school like the other kids. Renown is our backboard for Camden's care. We don't know what would happen if we wouldn't be able to go there. We quite literally would have to move. We'd have to leave state. We'd have to, oh gosh, I don't even want to think about that. 
For Noun is our family. They know him so well and they care about him. I, I can't imagine having a better team for him. As far as I'm concerned, they're the best of the best. Thank you for caring about us. Thank you for taking your time with us and giving Cam the opportunity to be a kid.